Chesapeake school officials are getting closer to a decision on rezoning. The goal is to help with overcrowding, but in the process, some students may be forced to change schools. Tonight at Hugo Owens Middle School, parents had a chance to look at the four different options. Robert Boyd has that story. Well, I kept hearing the same thing from these parents in Chesapeake, that these rezoning options and these maps just don't make sense, and the school board is failing to explain it. There's not really a transparency to this process. Where are the guiding principles? Kim Lee is the PTA vice president at Hugo Owens Middle School. She says parents need more information when it comes to how the school board came up with these zoning options. She's also confused as to why no school board members were at Monday's meeting. She says they won't even return emails. I've been copied on a lot of those messages and everyone keeps coming back to me and they say, I haven't heard anything, have you? And I haven't either. So I think that's just a lot of our frustration. The school board has come up with four different options affecting four middle schools and three high schools. Parent Corey Wooford says they all have major flaws. There appears to be negligence in some cases, uh, a total lack of analysis. Wooford believes important details like school bus routes have either been overlooked or terribly planned. You have buses going all over the place needlessly long bus routes taking kids from one high school they're five minutes away from to another high school they're an hour away from and vice versa. While the students who may have to change schools say this whole process has been stressful. My son's worried about the different schools where he may end up and then also where his friends that he's been building relationships where they'll be going. That's important because I've been knowing them since sixth grade and if they change schools then I won't have any other friends. Then there is the Schlieper family family who have a newborn. They say if rezoning gives their daughter the best possible educational experience, they're all for it. The school's some 130 percent capacity, some at 60 percent capacity, whatever it is. We need to balance that out. The school board is expected to vote on a final decision during their next meeting on October 30th. In Chesapeake, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.